Hello everyone. Well, today's dinner, I'm going to be making butternut squash with some apples and bacon. Bacon's the best part. I love bacon. And a special ingredient that I'll be adding on into this dish is some eggplant. So I'm going to add it into this dish and hope for the best that it'll turn out as good as it was last time that I made it. On the side of the plate, we had it with eggs, but this time we're gonna have it with some cauliflower rice. So I'm gonna steam up some rice, add some tomato paste, some onion, some garlic, and have it on the side with this meal. So I'm gonna show you how to make this meal. I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first ingredient that is gonna go in this pan is the onion. So this onion, the bacon and the onion is what it's gonna give a lot of flavor to this dish. So this was half an onion. You can always add a little more if you want. You wanna cook the onions until they are soft and tender. And then once the onions are soft and tender, then that's when we add um, the apples. In the meantime that the onions are cooking, we wanna start the bacon. So I'm gonna put five slices of apple wood bacon here. So this is gonna cook. And then once this is crispy, all the way cooked, we are going to add it into the onions and the apples. Okay, so now we're gonna add the apples. We're gonna mix this up. And once we add the bacon to the onions, and apples it's gonna coat the pan with the oils of the, the bacon so you don't need to put any um, um, oil or anything like that I added a little bit a little bit of water just to get the onions going the eggplant is a little softer than the butternut squash so I'm gonna go ahead and put the eggplant in and have it cook with the onions and the apple and just in a little bit I'm gonna add the bacon. Here's the bacon. It's looking good. I'll turn it in a little bit and show you how that looks. Let's flip the bacon. Mm. This is looking good. So the bacon is done and I just cut them into um, small bite sizes and added it to the butternut squash that a little bit of eggplants that I added and apples and onions. Oh, the butternut squash is not on here. It's still cooking! <laughs> and I'm mixing it away. So here it is. It's looking good. And it smells wonderful inside the house. So you can always add a little bit of the oils from the bacon into here. If not, you don't have to. So once your squash is fully cooked, you want to cut it into cubes and then add it to the pan. So for your cauliflower rice, you're going to add two cloves of garlic, four tablespoons of tomato paste, and of course your cauliflower that you're going to steam. So here is the cauliflower rice. It turned out pretty good. The only ingredient that I did not add was onions because there's tons of onions in here but it tastes it tastes all right I like it and here is the butternut squash with bacon it looks really good and that's pretty much it guys I used one apple one huge apple um, I believe it was like Fuji but you can use whatever apple you like except for green I don't think the green ones would taste all that great in this so that's it guys.